I'm hanging out at my house right now. I wanted to share something from my backyard with you. This is my plant named Seymour. Seymour is a Venus flytrap. This plant is very different than other plants. I'm gonna give us some fun facts. We'll learn about how it eats, how it lives, how it breathes, and then we're gonna make a really fun craft with it. So let's have fun, let's get creative, and let's learn something about Venus flytraps. So here's Seymour up close. First of all is how this plant eats. It's called a Venus flytrap. Hmm, what do you think this plant really likes to eat? You guessed it, flies. What this plant does to get its flies is it uses the end of it like a little mouth. Fly, an ant, any type of bug will come around and land in these traps. And then once it tickles around in there in a bit, the leaf will close and keep the bug inside. And that is how it eats. You can kind of see that there was some things in there that it finished eating. This one has one in there right now. This plant is special in so many ways. First of all, it helps us. It eats the mosquitoes and some other bugs that might be kind of pesty to us. It's a very delicate plant to take care of. In fact, you could kill it very, very easily by taking care of it the wrong way. So first of all, it does not drink regular water from your sink. It needs to have rain water. If you try and feed it water from the sink, it will poison it and it will not survive. So it needs to take rain water only. Another fun fact about this trap is that it can only eat insects that are alive. So for example, if I go to put my finger in it, it will close, but it's really just fooling the trap into thinking something is there. And it's really not healthy for the plant to get fooled and tricked like that. I'll do it just for fun, just so we can see, but it's really not something you're supposed to be doing. So what happens is a bug comes in, tickles it, and then you will see that the trap will then start to close. Does it hurt? Absolutely not. It's a leaf. Think about petting your hand with a leaf or a flower. Super soft, but to a bug, it's a little bit stronger. So it's able to keep it in there. So yes, I know I tricked the trap into closing. However, the plant is smart enough to know that there is nothing in it. So we'll give it some time and it's gonna open back up in a little bit and get ready to eat something that isn't tricking it. So it does take good care of itself. The other thing that's really, really cool about this is that it goes into hibernation, just like animals do. I do leave it outside. The sun is starting to change. It's becoming fall. The plant understands that and is now going to start shutting itself down. It will stop growing new traps. There's some still in here, as you can see, but it's gonna stop growing new traps and eventually die off. Next spring, it's gonna grow up brand new bigger and stronger than ever. It's very much alive. It needs really, really good care. And they're just such a cool plant. You might also think, wow, this looks like it's from another planet. This might come from a rainforest in Africa. No, this is actually from North and South Carolina. These are plants that come from the swampy parts of our country, native to America, but people own them all over the world. So I take very good care of Seymour so it can last many, many years to come. Let's have fun, let's make an art project. Make our Venus flytrap. We have two options here depending upon what you have in your home. The first option would be to use a piece of green construction paper, any size will do and some type of round tracer. In my case, I'm gonna use a paper plate because a paper plate is option number two. So if you have a paper plate and some green paint in your house, that's the second way that you can start this. I'm gonna start with a green piece of paper. I'm going to put my plate towards the end of it. You wanna make sure you fold your paper in half, right? So when you do that, you're going to take one side, hold the other, Fold, 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 match up your corners, and give it a good crease. All right, so once you have your crease, you wanna find the part that's like a book, right? The part that is stuck together here, the crease. Make sure the crease is on the same side as the plate, right? I do not want the plate to be eaten by the Venus flytrap. I want the plate to be on the other end of the Venus flytrap. So I'm going to match up my plate. So it just kind of touches the ends. That's just how I want it. You could make it a little higher, you can make it a little lower, 
that's all and how big you want your traps to be so I'm gonna take my plate and I'm just tracing half of it now it doesn't matter if this is super neat or not because we're gonna cut it out so once you have traced you can go ahead and you can cut this out Okay, so I have cut it out. You can see where we're going with this, right? It almost looks like a taco, and that's what we're looking for. I'm going to show you on my plate what you would do this way. No matter what you have in your home, you can make this work. This is regular tempera paint. It's washable, but any kind of washable paint will do. You can use a crayon to color this. You can use watercolors. You could take markers. So there's so many ways to participate in these art projects with whatever you have in your home. So I'm really just covering the whole thing. I don't wanna miss any spots. Whoopsies, that's okay. We're gonna end up using it. Okay, so notice how when we use a paintbrush, it's like a little broom sweeping back and forth. No ballerinas on their booties. Ballerinas are only on their tippy toes. You want to do the inside as well because as you saw in our traps, the inside is also green. Mine had some red spots on it. They turn red with the sun. Sometimes if there's too much sun, they will turn red. Okay, so we're gonna let this dry. Again, this is washable paint. So I could just wipe this up with a paper towel later. So we're gonna let this dry and hang out and we'll move to the next step in the meantime. The next step, no matter what kind of paper you are using, we need those little hairs that come out that kind of look like the teeth of it. We are going to get a few for the price of one. We did this if you did the emotion mask with me. So I folded my paper in half, same way we did before. This time I want the open side, cause look, I want two pieces. So I'm gonna stack my two pieces. And you can draw them first, but cutting a triangle is very easy cause you just do one diagonal this way, take it out, one diagonal that way. You can make really big ones, you can make skinny ones. You might wanna hold it up onto it and see how you like it. That's your choice. If they're too big, here's my trick, stack them and cut them. So I'm going to make a bunch of teeth and we'll meet back in a moment. Can anybody tell what I could do here? Should I just throw this paper in the garbage or is there another way that I can reuse this? Ah, I'm going to cut right across the top. Now watch this. Ooh. That was a neat trick, right? Look how many I have now. I'm ready to attach them onto my green piece or onto your plate, whichever one you are working with. I love working with a glue stick. It's neat, it's clean. We want those hairs to be attached and it looks a little nicer when they're on the inside of the trap. So I'm going to kind of open it up like a little book and just around the side, not the whole thing, cause it'll dry, little bits at a time, some glue. And just like with our collage pick, and stick, pick and stick. So I'm gonna keep doing this all the way around and we'll check back in a little bit. And we're gonna do the other side as well.
working with a paper plate, you could do the same thing. Simply fold it in half, and what's cool about the plate is it gives you all these different tones in here, these different textures, but you would do the same thing, just attach your teeth onto it. And after that, you can leave it just the way it is, or if you wanna get really creative with it, we can add some things inside of it, maybe a fly that it's caught. You can trace your hand inside, maybe it caught your hand. You can add a popsicle stick, so you can kinda hold it around like a puppet. You can add eyes to it, maybe it came alive. It's some type of Venus flytrap monster. Have so much fun with it, and check out my post on how to send pictures if you want me to see how it came out. Great job, have fun.